So, have you ever seen something so fucking disgusting, so awful, that it made you want to go outside, punch a brick wall, or just scream really, really loud into a pillow to the point where you can't breathe anymore? I've been there. I'm sure you've been there. So, um, I know what you're thinking, and we're not doing it. We're not talking about that. We're talking about something I think is even worse. Um, so, <laughs> it's no secret that I was a big Boogie 2988 fan. Uh, anybody that knows me knew that um, quite a bit. Um, I started my channel because I liked Boogie. I liked his message. Uh, I thought, hey, this fat, depressed guy can do it, then I can do it. I'm a fat, depressed guy. And he went from something to nuts, went from nothing to something back to fucking subhuman. Now, I've talked about him a couple times, probably three or four hundred times um, on this channel. No, nah, that's too many times. But, you know, we talked about the documentary where he came out and made himself like a really big piece of shit. You know, it was supposed to be one of those woe is me things. Now, nothing tops out of everything that he's done, especially with the crypto scam he was running recently. Nothing tops what I'm about to show you. And I'm going to show you this first. Uh, this is from the Locale live stream. Uh, this is basically the podcast featuring Keemstar, Boogie2988, uh, Wings of Redemption, so many more. And, uh, Destiny, which I don't really follow Destiny, but he actually came out with something pretty wild. So let me show you this and um, let's talk about it. Two years ago, you said that you had a cancer diagnosis, but now you just said now they're doing a biopsy. To confirmation. Check for confirmation. 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 Is, it, is this awesome? Are we treating? Are we treating a blood cancer without actually confirming it yet? For two years, you've been being, you've been out of a cancer treatment without confirming there's actually cancer there because it was in my blood markers and that's pretty goddamn definitive you can google that destiny when you when you have the hormones when you have the hormone in the blood that is produced by this cancer it's pretty goddamn definitive it doesn't show up for just the two years so what what just happened here what just happened so a couple years ago uh boogie 298 during his downfall where he started everything was falling apart he came out and said he had a rare form of blood cancer um you know, a lot of people played it off. It's like, <laughs> he's just wanting some sympathy and stuff like that. That's what it is. He's just trying to have people uh, feel bad for him because he's really good at manipulation. If you've been around this guy for so long or watch him like me, you know this. You know this. He, um, he is very, very well addicted to drama. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Cancer is terrible. Cancer is really fucking awful. Um, I watched a person that I call my real father last year die from cancer. Watched him slowly for three years deteriorate to the point where he wouldn't even wake up or remember who he was. Constantly in the hospital the last few months of his life. We sat there at the hospice as he was taking his last breaths. I left that night before he died. As soon as I left, I got the phone call, came back. He died. I lost my father, the person I love as my father, to cancer. Cancer is really serious. Cancer is a really serious thing, just like I talk about mental health stuff. Now, how does this play in with the Boogie situation? So, like I said, Boogie said he had a rare form of blood cancer. Well, Destiny, if you just watch right there, actually <laughs> pretty much exposed him for, hey, you did not have blood cancer you didn't basically you just proved it and boogie couldn't keep his mouth shut and he basically confirmed what everybody thought now not only that if we go back online let's go ahead let's take a look here so here's boogie this is at the drama alert sorry now let's look for boogie 2988 on here so it's not here here's a bunch of sock accounts this is the old account this is all he deleted he actually deleted his Twitter account. Now, a lot of people a long time ago said, hey, you should probably get off the fucking internet. Now, you know, this comes off the heels of the fact that Boogie ran his fucking crypto scam because Boogie has to have the internet always 
having attention on him. doesn't matter if it's good attention or bad attention. He likes it. He loves it. And that makes me feel humiliated and awful that for many years, I gave the guy a benefit of the doubt. It's like, okay, maybe you're not that bad. Maybe you're just going through a hard time. Uh, I, I, I'm still sick of with you. Um, I have been pretty harsh lately, but now I'm going to be really fucking harsh. Um, so, faking cancer or saying you have cancer without the diagnosis and lying about it for two years and getting money from that is probably one of the worst fucking things you can possibly do. Um, you know, we can talk about what happened today with the whole chili thing. That's bad. No, this is fucking worse. This is fucking worse. And I'm just going to say this. And this is one of those reasons I'm not going to cover audit fraudulenters anymore. That shit's done. That's done. I'm not doing it anymore. We're not doing it. I'm, it's not worth the fight. But this shit, this shit right here, this is fucking bullshit. This is the worst thing this motherfucker could do. This is going to give him more attention, right? It's going to give him more attention. I know they were saying that he was threatening to uh, pimp his girl out for OnlyFans to get some extra money. Motherfucker does not want to go get a 9-to-5 job like the rest of us. He just wants to sit there and be lazy, waste a piece of shit. That's fucking terrible. That's, there's a ton of people out there that's suffering from cancer. Tons of people. Tons of people that sit there and watch their family members or friends die with a disease that just eats you from the inside fucking out. That's the fucking terrible thing you can fucking do. I'm sorry for the uh, profanity, but this is, this is fucking stupid. This is ridiculous. I, I don't I don't understand. Like as somebody that followed, and I'm sure there's a lot of people in here that's actually followed this guy for a long time when he started out being the Mr. Rogers of the internet. Now he's literally fucking Gandalf Hitler. I don't I don't fucking get it. It's like this is the worst fucking thing you could do. Like it's terrible. This is beyond slimy. We can say what we want about the frauditors, but this motherfucker's doing way worse. This is the worst thing, and he needs to get off the fucking internet. He needs to be displatformed immediately. There's, there's just no fucking room for this shit. There's not. There's not. It's, and you know, it, like I said, I, I feel secondhand embarrassment because I trusted and I liked this guy for many years. I looked up to this guy. I was inspired by this guy to, you know, make content that I loved and put myself out there. And this motherfucker comes out and does this shit? Now, we could talk all the bad things he's done. You know, talking about the gays and all that stuff. That's, you know, that's fucking Skittles to this. That's the Skittles. This is, this is fucking terrible. I mean, he might as well have just went to a nursery and ate a baby's head. That's probably worse, but I don't know. This is probably even worse. This is probably worse. People gave this guy money. They trusted him. They felt sorry for him. People that hung in there while other people was like, you better watch it. They warned you. There was warnings that this guy was doing this. Nobody listened. I was one of them. Mudahar was talking about it now. Uh, Mudahar has been on his case for a long time. Not about the cancer. I'm sure that came into question. But there's a lot of things that Boogie's done that's got the attention of other YouTubers. But this is it. This is it. This is how you nuke. I don't mean just nuke. I mean railgun nuke. Like shove it right up your ass and destroy your whole uh, channel. Everything. You destroyed everything. Nobody. Nobody. If you come back, nobody's going to trust you. Nobody's going to watch you. And I know some people's like, hey, you should kill yourself. I never say that. I never will say that. But if he fell off a bridge, I'm not going to fucking care. I'm not going to care. If he falls off a bridge and splats or puts a big impact crater into the ground the size of the fucking Grand Canyon, I don't give a shit. That's fucking terrible. Oh. And I think, here's the thing. The internet deserves to be mad. This deserves to be mad. To say, to, to go for two fucking years telling people that you have a rare form of blood cancer and you're going to die soon. Come out with some kind of documentary making yourself look like a giant piece of shit and you wanted people to feel sorry for you. So you got your views, you got your locale views, and now this is what happens. Whatever you had as a career, whatever you had as a content creator, whatever respect or anything 
you had is fucking gone. It's completely gone. And I hope the fucking worst for you. I just hope the fucking worst for you. Like, that is not, that's just, that's terrible. And I know some people will be thinking, oh, that's in the wrong. You know, that just really stung me, like, really bad. You know, I, you know, me and my wife, we was, we was there watching my dad just pass away. Just pass away in his bed, like, just become nothing. That's fucking hurtful. Many people felt the same way. And the way he uses manipulation tactics, especially when it comes to mental health, that doesn't fucking work either. It's basically, it's a big thing of narcissism where he says when he gets called out as woe is me, everybody hates me. Yeah, motherfucker, everybody fucking hates you. Everyone. Every single person fucking hates you. If they didn't, they do now. Just because you say, hey, genetics, I have blood, the hormones in my uh, fucking blood, that doesn't mean anything unless it's completely diagnosed. You can't say you have cancer just because you think you have hormones or whatever or something in your blood that carries on with it. You can't just fucking say it. Just like me, I can't say, hey, I'm an alcoholic or something like that when I just drink one beer and I, you know, I'm not drinking constantly every single fucking day. And somebody says, I say, hey, I'm an alcoholic. Feel sorry for me. And it turns out that, hey, this motherfucker only drinks like one drink a day and it might be a water. Sorry, this doesn't prove my point. That's a, probably a bad analogy. Like, I'm not even thinking straight because how bad this fucking is. It's like, as soon as I seen that, like, I had to look it up. I had to look it up. I had to figure it out. It's trending now on Twitter. Everybody sees this now. Everybody sees this guy for actually what he is. For him to come out originally saying, hey, I had a bad life. It was terrible. People done bad things. People manipulated me. I got raped. I got all this shit. No, I don't even care anymore. I don't care. If you had a bad childhood, fuck off. I don't care. You go back. Go back. Go back. What you're doing here is like way worse. Like, I'm sorry if your mom beat you and like sucked your dick or something. I don't I don't care. I don't really care at this point. That's fine. That's fair game. You you fucked up. You fucked up too many times. And this is where I'm really gonna put, the, put my foot to the ground, and say, hey, fuck off, get off the internet, or just go jump off a fucking bridge. I, I, you know, <laughs> I don't know why I care so much. It's just the fact that somebody I looked up to for many, many years. Somebody I thought, hey, I actually have something in common with this guy. Um, I had a rough childhood for the most part. I've had some problems with my mental health. I'm fat. You know, I've had all these kinds of problems. And I was like, here's this guy. He's, he's, he did it. He did it. He did it. Ruined his fucking marriage. Ruined his fucking career. And didn't he just plummeted to the fucking ground. And there's no escaping this. There's no escaping this. Nothing he's going to fucking do is going to bring him back to any sort of fucking re relevance. This is just the biggest piece of shit on the fucking internet. He needs to be deplatformed from whatever the fuck he's on. Get rid of him. Don't get attached to him. Block him. Ignore him. Hopefully he just disappears. I, I, and here's the thing. I hope you guys, if you have somebody in your life that has cancer, that you're watching actively dying from cancer or suffering from cancer, I'm sorry if you look up to this guy and you're one of those people that's actually dealing with this and this motherfucker does this to you, I'm sure there are some people who's actually hurt them, probably offended them quite greatly. And this shouldn't be, this, like I said, it should be tolerated. And I, 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 I'm going to keep on repeating myself here at this point, but I just want to say this is... This is the worst thing like I've seen. And I, like I said, we've seen Chile say, hey, I wish kids had bone cancer. That's one thing. That's bad, right? That's really bad. It's fucking terrible. But this, I think this is way worse. This is way worse. This is way worse. Maybe I'm not, maybe I'm off base. Maybe I'm by, off base on this. Maybe, maybe I care too much about this. But this actually, like I said, this actually means something to me because how he inspired me to do make videos and here's the thing you never want to meet your fucking heroes you never want to you never want to because you'll be fucking disappointed every fucking time every time every time and here's the thing too we're not talking about fraud editors anymore i'm done with that 
I've done enough that we're going to actually find something that's worth um, tackling, taking care of guys like this. I'm sorry, I keep on putting point here's a fucking stupid fucking face fuck you fuck you, you piece of shit